Hey guys, oh, this is, he's back again with some more YouTube questions. It's awesome. He's here every week. So um, my my income, I, I know I'm probably mispronouncing your name. I apologize for that, but um, glad to have you back. He says, hey guys, I'm with another set of questions. And as Bradley said in the last hangout, I plan to use all this free information you guys are giving to build up my business so that I can join the mastermind then. Everybody plus one is comment for me. <laughs> Question, is crowdsearch.me still effective for ranking YouTube videos, local, national sites? Uh, for YouTube, I don't know if it is or not. I, to, to be honest, I wouldn't use it for money site stuff anymore at all, guys. Um, I stopped using it, shit, a year and a half ago now, maybe. Um, YouTube videos, I doubt it will even put move, move the needle on that anymore, Mike. Um, and the reason I say that is because a lot of those services, they use commercial IPs, right? Commercial proxies. And the problem is so many commercial IP blocks now um, you know, ranges, uh, what do they call them? Subnets or whatever have been blocked or, or marked from by Google flagged as irrelevant traffic. Right. And that, that killed a lot of those, um, search and click or CT spam, what I call CT or click through spam, uh, spam bots, right. That killed a lot of their effectiveness because the IP blocks have been, you know, they Google understands that they're commercial IP blocks, right? Like for example, storm proxies, right? So you have a range of proxies or IPs that they go through and that Google is aware of what they are. So they're disregarded as real chat or given less weight. Does that make sense? So again, I just talked about um, at the very beginning of this webinar, how I did a, a, a training, a two and a half hour training last week, specifically on how to use Google ads guys for pennies per view from real traffic, you're buying traffic from Google, okay? And literally, you can use YouTube traffic to, to rank videos especially because you're getting views. You don't get a flood of clicks unless the video is really compelling or the offer is really compelling. I find that the, the, the type of campaigns that I set up in the webinar last week, which you can, you can get access to for $55, guys, I'm telling you, it's a slam dunk I mean, it's just a no brainer. It's a great, great strategy, guys. And you can get targeted traffic from Google to your videos, targeted views anyways, right? To your videos from specific geographic areas that you set, from specific audiences that you set, which is the recommended method. Um, and it, those views are weighted heavily because they're coming from real Google users, guys, from people that are signed in to their Google accounts have Android devices or whatever, or whether it doesn't matter whether it's Apple or Android, but they're, they've got Google accounts, right? Google knows these people, they're valid, true Google users. Instead of trying to spoof traffic, you can buy real traffic guys. And it's literally pennies per view, right? Now, again, I don't get a flood of clicks. So as using the, that strategy for driving traffic, isn't necessarily going to get you a flood of traffic but it will get you a bunch of views, which is great for the video itself. And the tr traffic that you do get is gonna be really heavily weighted traffic because it's highly relevant, if that makes sense. So it's much more valuable than buying spam traffic anyways. And it's not against Google's terms of service, right? Spam traffic is. So as far as using crowdsearch.me or any type of spam bot, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, because it just isn't, I, especially to money sites, guys, I wouldn't put, put that stuff anywhere near a money site. YouTube videos, you could test it, but I, I'm telling you, I don't feel like that's effective anymore. Um, because again, I just buy the traffic direct from Google now and it works so much better, right? And guys, it's so easy to set up a campaign. I mean, I'm telling you, you can, once you get the hang of it, you can set up a YouTube ads campaign for a video in like 10 minutes flat. Okay. He can also, yeah, before you go, he can also get an embed gig, video embeds, which will move the needle. Prob uh, I, I, I don't know, because CrowdSurge, I stopped, I've stopped using them a while ago. But video embeds in a, in a, rele uh, in a niche relevant network. And since we're, we're moving, I don't know if, if no, we didn't announce it, we're moving MGYB into uh, WooCommerce so that it makes it easier to add products. So this week and next week, We'll be busy adding products. One of those will be uh, video embeds. We'll be adding Dedia's link building, indexing, just a whole bunch of things that, that, that we haven't been able to do because of the limitations that we had with SamCart, we'll be able to do now. So I think you, know, you might want to look into a, a video embed gig. They're, they're not really all, the, all that expensive and they do move the needle or just get our training a, a, and get it moved the right way with the right signals. 
Okay, so um, the only thing I would suggest, though, is, guys, you got to think about this logically. Um, just flat out embeds and or backlinks do not work as well as they used to without traffic included. And think about it, guys. It's very logical. Why would a video or anything go like, you know, why would a video get hundreds or thousands of embeds or tens of thousands of backlinks if it's not being viewed? Right. It doesn't make sense. So, yes, it can move the needle. But like I found that you, we know for a fact that we can rank videos with engagement signals alone, guys. No backlinks, no embeds whatsoever. If you combine the two, it's so much more effective. But it's less effective to just do a bunch of backlinks and or embeds without engagement signals, because that is clearly a spam signal. Right. That's clearly somebody trying to manipulate search position of a uh, video. Right. Because it's not natural for a video to be embedded, picked up and shared if it's not getting viewed. Who embeds a video without viewing it, right? Only SEOs. And Google knows that. The algorithm knows that. It's not like manual reviewers. That's built, baked right into the algorithm now. So my point is, if you're going to do embed blast, guys, it's perfectly fine. Backlinks are perfectly fine. But make sure that you're adding traffic to the whole mix. Views, in other words, to the whole mix, because that's going to that's gonna increase your effectiveness so much more. If you're getting... If you start getting a bunch of back uh, embeds and or backlinks and a bunch of views all at the same time, that's mimicking a viral nature of a video and that shit will rank, no question, right? But if you just do a bunch of backlinks and or embeds and there's not any views and engagement signals, that's clearly a spam signal. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend doing it. Yes, I know there's some brute force SEOs out there that still do that, guys, but I don't recommend it for longevity and everything else. Just set up some simple YouTube ads for pennies per per view and get the results that you need, okay?